Hey, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm your product specialist, Wesley, and today we are going to be checking out the all new 64 millimeter V2 F22 Raptor. Uh, this is a great little jet if you're trying to learn high alpha maneuvers. This is a great one to do it with and practice without having to worry about tearing up your giant 6S F22. Or if you're new to jets, this is going to be a great one to start with. So without further ado, let's get this out of the box and then we'll go over some of the tech specs of this model. Updates for the V2 64 millimeter F22. This has an all new mold for the fuselage. A new 2840-2850 KV brushless outrunner motor. An upgraded 12 blade EDF unit. An upgraded 40 amp ESC with thrust reversing now right out of the box. It has a new paint job on the model for more scale looks to match more with the 90 millimeter F22. This new system also only runs on 4S batteries now, uh, so you can no longer use 3S with this. It is 4S only. All right, now it's time to start our assembly of the F-22. Before we get going, let's talk about a few things you might need when you order your airplane to make your life easier. We have these Benchcraft stands available. It makes it a lot easier if you need to turn your model over when you're working on it or anything else, so you don't damage it while working on it. You can also go in and pick up a good screwdriver set, some hobby knives, that kind of things through our Benchcraft line of products. They're all available here at Motion RC, but without further ado, let's get down on the table and get to assembling. All right, first step in the process is to get our landing gear installed on the model. What you'll notice is on your plastic pieces that actually clip into the fuselage, there's an L and an R, and on the fuselage itself, you'll see there's an R and an L printed right there on the fuselage, so you'll know which side goes to which side. Uh, as far as your landing gear go, when you install them into the model, the little cutout in the front is facing the forward, and the tilt to this little piece here goes to the back. And then as you put your wheels down, if you'll hold your little plate in and slide it in, it'll clip into place, and then you're gonna take your two P238 screws and put them in each side all four of them. Next step in our process is to get our wings installed onto our F-22. First step in the process is to slide the carbon spar and the wing half into the fuselage, and then take your servo connector that is sticking out of the wing, and then matching the colors, yellow to yellow, red to red, brown to brown, push your connector in and make sure it is seated all the way. At that point, you can slide it into the fuselage and make sure you do not pinch this wire. Once you have everything seated correctly, you are gonna take the four screws that have the bigger washer head on the top of them, and you're going to affix both wing halves onto the model using those screws. All right, so at this point, we're gonna get our elevator halves installed on the model. For doing this, we're going to slide the elevator half onto the plastic receiving point on the back, and then we're gonna take the two tiny screws that come in this kit. One is gonna go in each part of the elevator half to hold it and affix it in. You will actually see there's a cutout on the back of the model where that screw goes down into the receiving point and rides in that rail. All right, now we need to get our rudder halves installed on the F-22. This is as simple as sliding them into the model. They actually key right down in there and they should be a nice snug fit. And then taking your two remaining screws that are left over and we are gonna put them in from the bottom of the airplane to affix each rudder half into the model. Okay, at this point, it's a good time for us to put our receiver in the model that you're gonna use. 
Uh, anything five channel or higher is gonna be able to use all the functions of this model. And in my case, I'm gonna use one of our Radtron Futaba compatible receivers. Uh, this is the FHSS uh, compatible version. Uh, it's definitely overkill because it's eight channels, but I had one set in here and I'm gonna go on and use it in our model. So let's get that installed. So at this point, we have the model bound. I've mounted my Radtron receiver. I can go on and do a quick control check to make sure everything's working. Ailerons, rudder, throttle, reverse. Everything is working. Now, I left my elevators unhooked until this point so that now I can turn the model over and I know that my servos are centered. So now we can go on and put our push rods on and according to the manual, we need six millimeters of up in this model right out of the box. So let's get this installed and show you how that looks. All right, so now that we have all our control surfaces hooked up, it's time to make sure they're going the right direction. Uh, I always recommend you do this facing towards the back of the airplane. Uh, I'm going to do it in this case so you can see it. But if I go up, I can now see that my elevators are going the wrong way. So let's go on and reverse our elevator channel. And now we're going the correct way. Let's check our ailerons. Those are correct. Now let me spin the model around. And let's check that nose wheel steering, which is our rudder channel. That's correct, and that's correct. So I don't need to reverse any of those. At this point, let's set up some dual rates. Expo if you want it. It's all called out in the book exactly how I'm gonna do my rates, but you know, rates are something that can be different for each person. So if you have a specific way you like to do it, go on and do it, but just know that I'm gonna set mine up per the book for our first flight. All right, so that gets the assembly of our free wing 64 millimeter F-22 all wrapped up. This is gonna be a really fun jet for somebody that's looking to get into EDFs and not quite ready to make the plunge into a full size one. We now have the small F-22 and the big F-22. So warm up those fingers on this little one before you get into some of our larger models here at Motion RC. As always, don't forget you can check us out over on Hobby Squawk forums. Join the discussion with all your fellow RC pilots there or over on our Facebook customer community. There's always guys sharing their repaints, what they're doing to their models to make them their own. As always, whether it's land, sea, or air, Motion RC has what you want. So go check it out, motionrc.com.